So you've got your camera and your lens, but there's something missing. Professional camera rigs are always growing and changing depending on what you need on a specific job. As there's so many camera accessories available, we can't possibly cover them all in this video, but we will take a look at the most common and how you can implement them into your workflow. Firstly, and most importantly, we'll take a look at power solutions. All professional cameras tend to use detachable batteries, with the most common being V-mount or gold mount batteries. These batteries are the same, but the way in which they mount to the camera differs. Many cameras come with no specific mounting plate, allowing you to choose your own. Gold mount batteries use three gold studs or pins to lock the battery in sideways. V-mount batteries use a V-shaped locator that locks vertically into the plate. Lots of professional batteries feature what's known as a D-tap output. This is an additional output from the battery that can be used to power accessories such as field monitors or wireless transmitters. Some cameras also support battery grips, which are small attachments that hold multiple batteries and slot into the battery compartment of the camera. This gives you much longer usage time for your camera without having to replace the batteries as often. Whilst most cameras come with an inbuilt screen, these often don't provide the best image for reviewing what you're actually shooting. It's common to see an additional field monitor attached to a camera rig. These field monitors provide more viewing options than traditional camera displays, with many offering support for tally, scopes and LUTs. The ability to add a lookup table, or LUT as they are commonly referred to, can be used to calibrate the display for accurate colour representation or help you better visualise the final look of a shot. This is great if you're shooting in a log profile, as these images will look flat out of the camera and adding a LUT can give you a better idea of what your graded shot will look like. Many field monitors also come with recording functionality as well. This makes capturing an isolated backup or generating proxies in a more lightweight codec far easier. EVFs or electronic viewfinders, like field monitors, are added to a camera to give you a better view of your scene. These allow you to concentrate on framing, focus and be more mobile when the camera is shoulder or handheld. Most EVFs have functions like zebras focus peaking in tally. Zebra patterns are used to help expose your image by displaying diagonal lines across any part of the image that goes over a user-defined luminance level. This helps to avoid any clipping of the image during capture. Focus peaking is a function that will display coloured outline around objects that are in focus. As you rack through focus, you will see this outline move between whichever object is the sharpest. Both field monitors and EVFs are great for the camera operator, but what about anyone else on set who needs to see the same image? Wireless transmission devices often come as a pair. The transmitter, which takes your video signal from your camera and converts it to a wireless signal, and the receiver, which picks up the wireless signal and outputs it over a standard video connection. Some wireless solutions allow you to add multiple receivers, meaning that your director, your assistants, clients and DIT can all view the same image in real time. With all these accessories, a fully rigged camera can start running out of mounting points. For this reason, amongst others, scan stock a range of cages and rigs for your camera. Rigs can add handles or shoulder pads for stability and provide multiple mounting points to fit all of your accessories. Standard 15mm or 19mm rails can also be added to most rigs and cages, allowing you to add supports for large lenses or even teleprompters. Another reason to have your camera in a cage or rig is for protection. There's no worse feeling than seeing a camera fall from a tripod or be knocked over whilst on a shoot. And while we all want to be as careful as possible, we can't predict the unexpected. We've all seen teleprompters used by television show hosts and news presenters, but these are common across any shoot where someone's presenting to camera. Scan stock a range of teleprompters that are designed to be used with tablets and smartphones to help keep your talent on script. Teleprompters use a special glass that sits in front of the lens on which the text is reflected and the lens is able to see through without picking up the text. To round it all off, we need to keep our lovely new equipment safe. Scan Pro Video has a range of protective bags and hard shell cases to protect your investments. We also provide wetsuits for those outdoor shoots where Mother Nature is against you. I hope this video has helped. If you have any questions, please contact us.